Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a collective of love readings to see what's going on between you and your person, the person in your energy, the person on your mind currently in your spirit, okay? Happy New Year to you guys. I hope everyone is well. If you are returning to my channel, this is your current energy. Your current energy is a page of cups. Um, if you're returning to my channel, welcome. Thank you for your support of me. Your support helps this new tarot channel grow. I'm very, 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 very humbled by your support. Thank you so much. It helps me to reach as many of you as possible. And if you are here for the first time, I appreciate you as well. Perhaps Spirit has messages for you. Cross watchers, you are welcome here and the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Never force a reading. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force it. So your energy flew out the deck, and it's the Page of Cups, okay? So now I'm gonna pull your person's current energy to start this off. Okay, your person's current energy is a Chariot Reverse. Mm -hmm. Show me the messages for Sagittarius. Dover, okay. Show me Sagittarius. This one to come out. Show me the messages for Sagittarius, please. I love this deck except for the fact that the cards are super slippery. So, I got the Queen of Swords reversed, the Judgment, and the Five of Pentacles reversed. All right. Your Page of Cups is your current energy. I have someone who's very comforting, very kind. This person may be, you know, very, I'm getting the energy of you just learning, like not too many deep emotional connections. This is like new to you. Like, it's like being very young about it. Like being emotionally immature, but not in a bad way. Just like, just learning. Just still learning about deep connections and love. I just feel like you're very loving, though. You're very comforting. That kind of energy that I'm getting for you, Sagittarius. Your person is a chariot reverse. I'm getting cancer energy. This person is like, they're, they lack direction. They got the energies are scattered. They're kind of all over the place. Somebody may be interfering in this connection. I'm getting coercion. It's like they, they have a lot going on and they can't move forward um, the way they would like to. I'm getting some sort of like failure in something. But I also get somebody, you know, trying to convince your person perhaps either to do something for them or to be with them. That's the energy that I'm getting. Okay. Meanwhile, you're very selfless and kind and comforting. Okay. So with this Queen of Swords in the past, I get someone... Who can't be trusted? Yep. There's a there's a feminine energy here that cannot be trusted, just as I thought in the past. Why is this Queen of Swords verse here? Because you know somebody showed you love in the past. There was a Knight of Cups. There was a love offer from someone, and it made this Queen of Cups very jealous. Okay.
Okay, they were very jealous. This might have been a past child, child's mother, baby mom. I don't like to use that term, but I'll say it. This is like, I feel like this is the energy of an ex. This queen of swords reverse. Very jealous of this connection and that the person that they were with is now giving you a love offer in the, in the past. Um, some of you must have, might have recently gotten proposed to by someone in the recent past. Show me why. Yep, it was a wish fulfillment with this person. A wish came true. This person offered you love. Um, this was a, a solid love offer. And it, and, it, and it was it was complete fulfillment and happiness for you. And it really made this Queen of Swords very jealous. And I feel like this is an ex. Again, somebody, a person might have a child or children with. But they're very jealous of that. And like, you know, your, your person was trying to work with them. Try to work with them, you know, maybe even co-parent with them. But this person is stubborn. They're very... They refuse to compromise with your person, okay? This jealousy, okay? And I'm seeing a judgment here in the current position. Why is this judgment here? This is Libra energy. Oops, got two cards to clarify the judgment. I got the Eight of Cups and the World. You're going through some sort of awakening. Or well, somebody missed connection. Someone's homesick. Someone misses home. Something happened. There was some sort of... <laughs> there was some sort of conflict in this person. Somebody's missing home. They were blamed for something. But I also, I also see forgiveness. Someone abandoned the connection too. So I feel like in the current position that there was a situation where you had to forgive your person. Um, you, you were moving on. But why is this judgment here? Because there was forgiveness. So I guess you guys, you guys are still together. There's, there's challenges in this connection, all right? You were upset with something and you ghosted your person. I feel like it was very temporary, okay? And now you guys are in the forgiveness because you missed your person, your person missed you, or whatever. Um, yes, um, with those, this is the Hermit Reverse, Virgo Energy. Somebody definitely withdrew, but they felt lonely. And they wanted their person back. And, they, and I feel like you took your person back and, you, you know, you decided, you know, you missed them too. It was very short. Very short-lived. But, um, what caused this? What caused that? This wanted to come out, okay? I got the three of pentacles. There was a need for you guys to come together about something. But Spirit, show me why the eight of cups is there. What caused that? What caused that moment? Excuse me, guys. Cards are slipping. Oh, I love this deck, but it's so slippery. What caused this eight of cups? We know that it's connected to somebody from the past. This queen of swords reverse. I got an ace of swords reverse and a king of cups, okay? I feel like your person didn't feel protected by you with this ex. And they tried to tell you that. They communicated that with you. And you was, they felt like you wasn't respecting the boundaries. They wasn't respecting the boundaries and you wasn't putting this person in check. And some sort of conflict ensued. And then um, somebody stormed off. And But with this brief separation, you wasn't happy about it, Sagittarius. So you two came back together. I get that. Um, And then your person was like, you know, you know, they responded very well emotionally with this King of Cups, okay, to what you were saying and what you said you needed from them. 
All right, so with the Three of Pentacles, you guys came together and said, okay, we're gonna make this work. And then, you know, that, that cycle was closed out, all right? You felt like you completed that and now you were dealing with the situation on a different level. But there's some adversity overcoming some sort of financial adversity okay why is this five of pentacles reverse here Come on, show me why for Sagittarius why is this five of pentacles reverse here some sort of financial challenge so I feel like with this with this person from the past there's a financial connection as well okay Well, you're very financially independent. I'm getting Sagittarius, okay? You have financial stability, but there's still challenges. And I feel like the challenges from your person, especially because, ooh, that card fell. I gotta go get that. Especially because your person is in chariot reverse um, energy. And they feel powerless. Like, they feel like, in a situation that they feel powerless right now, okay? Let's see what this is. I wanted to come out. <sighs> Page of Swords, something's delayed, okay? This is supposed to be here. Um, you have somebody, this person, this Queen of Swords reverse is like, there's patience needed in the near future to deal with this this Queen of Swords reverse. She's This person is very calculating. Very unconcerned about other people's, could care less about your feelings. Could care less, obviously, about your person. I mean, could, could care less about your person's feelings, let alone yours. And there's some sort of like, um, your, your person just feels like, just feels like things are out of control. So that's why the energy is scattered. It's, it has to do with dealing with this person from the past. Okay, so. Your person has some concerns moving forward with this person from the past, okay? Page of Pentacles. But there's going to be some sort of small offer financially. Okay. I see new job. There's going to be some sort of new job. So with the adversity that your person has, that they, they're trying to overcome financially, there's a new job here for them, okay? So your person, you know, is going through their challenges. So, Spirit, please show me Sagittarius' this person's current feelings for Sag. Please, show me. Show me that. Oh, okay. Got the Six of Cups. Flew right out the deck to let them know Let's be clear, this person, you, you and your person have a long history of being together, okay? I feel like I'm hearing it's always been you, even that you guys were not together when you were younger, but you were in each other's lives, okay? Or you knew the same people, you might have grown up in the same neighborhood, went to the same schools, okay? Knight of Wands. This one to come out, okay. So I have the Page of Wands reverse, the Knight of Wands, and the Six of Cups. A lot of wand energy, a lot of fire. You could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius, or this could be your energy. There's a lot of passion your person feels for you, okay? A lot. They, they feel like you're very ambitious, you're very generous. You know how to hold yourself. You hold, you know, you don't hold yourself down. You love a challenge. Your friend, your person loves the fact that you love a challenge. Okay, with the page of wands reverse, they realize that they broke your heart, and that you're discouraged because of you know certain obstacles, and you realize that there's someone very insensitive causing problems with you and your person.
But you, you know, you got so much love for your, your person got so much love for you because you guys have a history, like I said, really happy memories, a lot of, a lot of memories, a lot of good memories from the past, okay? You guys have a history and the person, and your person knows that you don't like, you're not the type of person to take some shit. You're very passionate about that. your person, you're very passionate um, about your family. That's what your person feels like. You're very passionate about this connection and, and the history that you guys have. But they also realize that there's a lot of obstacles that they caused you to cause you to be discouraged about the future of this connection. And that concerns them, okay? They're concerned about that. They recognize that. They, they also realize that they've been insensitive, that they haven't always made the best decisions in regards to this ex, okay? All right, so straight, please show me Sagittarius' feelings for that person, please. Show me Sagittarius. Okay. Show me Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius' feelings for that person, please. All right, I have the Three of Swords, the Six of um, Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups reverse. all right? So, your person is very hurt, okay? With the Three of Swords, they felt like, you know, they felt betrayed by you. They felt like you didn't show up for something as far as this person from the past. It was something you were supposed to handle and that you didn't. They feel like you're being distracted from the connection. They need you to reciprocate. Like, they need you to bring things into balance. They need to feel like you're giving to them just as much or even more than you're giving to this person from the past. So I do feel like money is involved with the Six of Pentacles. They need you to pour, like, they're like, what the fuck? Like, I need you to, like, make sure that you show up for me and for us and for our family as opposed to this person. There was something that you did, I, I feel, financially, and you didn't... And this person convinced you with this chart reverse. They coerced you into doing something extra financially for them and your person feels betrayed by that because you didn't consult with them first all right so with this ace of cups reverse your person is a little you know emotionally closed off they're, she's they're, i get that um i mean you i'm sorry i feel like you're repressing your feelings and I think I was speaking just now to your person as if I was speaking to your person directly. I tend to do that sometimes because I'm channeling energy. And what I want to say is you are hurt by a decision your person made. You felt like they didn't show up for you with something. They kept something from you financially that um, had to do with this other person. Okay? They realize that you're a good person and that you mean well, but it still hurt them. All right? So with this, they, they just, they kind of like... They feel like you miscarried the connection when you made that decision. That's what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups reverse. When I see miscarriage, I'm not thinking about an actual baby that was lost. I feel like they feel like you miscarried the responsibility of the relationship. It was brief and you acted out on it, but at the same time, you love each other and you decided to make it work. But keep in mind, there's some challenge with, challenges with this person. The good thing is, you know, I, I hear this. I hear your person getting on you like, how are you even able to do this and make this decision without consulting with me? And you have and you have your own financial challenges. That's why I hear you saying Sagittarius to your person. Like, you don't even where you like you how do you even have the money for that? Like you I feel like you're carrying this relationship financially now, independently, because your person has some challenges, yet they still trying to spread their souls even thinner by, you know, being convinced that this ex needs something. I feel like it's it's connected to a child or children. And they fell for that. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, but the good thing is you, you get, your person's getting a new job in the near future. And that's going to help financially as well. So you don't feel like you have to carry everything. All right. So spirit, please show me. Please show me Sagittarius' challenges. Okay. I got the death reverse Scorpio energy. What is um, Sagittarius' challenges? What are their challenges? Show me their challenges, please. Show me Sagittarius' challenges. I got the Strength card, legal, um, Leo energy, and I got the Scorpio energy to death. 
The challenge is, is not allowing repeated cycles to happen, okay, with this person. Like, you, you agreed to move forward with your person. You're getting the benefit of the doubt. There's a lot of love here. But the challenge is not to repeat these cycles and not to allow it. And not allow your person to go do some shit that they did before. Um, and your challenge is also to remain strong with the strength reverse. Don't allow um, yourself, don't allow these situations with your person and this ex to lower your self-esteem. Okay? I hear like... You know, I need. I feel like I need to say to you, Sagittarius, you are enough. You're enough for your person. Your person loves you. Your person wants you. Okay, you are enough. So I get this feeling of being inadequate, and that is your challenge. Not thinking that you're enough for your person. Like, nah, you 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 are enough for your person. Okay. Don't resist any change. Continue to move forward with this healing process with your person. Yes, there's going to be challenges again. What relationship doesn't have them? This person is trying to cause a lot of problems for you. This card wanted to flip around, so let me see what this is. There's another. Usually when I do a challenge card, it's only when I ask for, like, what are your challenges, I pull two cards. This card wanted to come out, okay? This is a three of wands reverse. So, you know, be very clear and concise on what you want and don't allow your emotions to cloud your judgments when it comes to your person, okay? That's what I needed to tell you. Don't allow, don't, don't allow your emotions to cloud your, your judgments. Don't, you know... When there's a need to make a logical decision about your connection, make sure that you do that. Don't act impulsively, emotionally. That's what I needed to tell you. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some cards from your person. Okay. What are they feeling but not saying to you? This person, of course, does is very selfish from the past. Your, your person's past person, their ex... They, you know, I feel like they use a child to get what they want to manipulate your person into things. So, you know, expect there will be challenges, but your person is committed to you. So don't make any impulsively emotional decisions to cut them off like you did last time. You cut them out most recently, <laughs> but it was brief, but that's not the way to fix this. All right. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I want to open up and tell you how you how, how I feel. Your person wants to have a really in-depth conversation about their feelings. You know, they don't want anything to be left to your imagination. They want to be transparent with you so that you know just how much they love you, just how much they're down for you. I can't imagine my life without you. You rock my world. See? This is a really good person. They're just going through some um, challenges. Okay? I wear a false mask and pretend not to care because I don't want you to see how vulnerable I really am. So your person, you know, I get this person speaking with their chest. When y'all in conflict, like when you briefly try to threaten to kick them out or that you threaten that you was, you actually I get that you threaten to leave. That you did. You might have spent the night out, you know, with a friend or a parent or a family member, something. But, you know, they try to act like it didn't bother them as much, but they were like scared as fuck. You know, I, I get that this person might even cry because they thought that they was going to lose you because of the situation. So, you know, just understand that they care more than you think they do. Okay. Um, I really need to hear from you. I don't like being in the dark about what's going on in your life. So for some of you, you're, you're still in separation from your person, but you are in right now because it's in the current position. You're literally going through uh, the process of returning home. Okay, or your person's coming back. I'm sorry, like my mom did say that you, that I get Sagittarius that you might have left briefly. Some of you might not have returned yet, and your person's like, I need to hear from you. You know, like what the hell is going on? I'm getting that a very very strong direct message for those of you who who have not returned to your person yet. All right, so let's get advice. <laughs> let's get advice. I'm gonna pull some advice cards for Sagittarius because you definitely need it. <laughs> Spirit, please show me advice. Show me advice, please. Show me advice. Show, uh, show me advice. Come 
Come on, show me the messages, please. You're going to need some advice for sure. So the advice cards that I have for you is the Empress Reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Swords Reverse. You're just feeling overwhelmed, okay? I get that you're just mentally overloaded, and this is why you responded the way that you did. And like, there's a need for solitude, okay? You're just trying to regroup and heal you're trying to find a different you know view you're trying to see things from your person's point of view and find and you're figuring out what, what's best for you know the future between you two you're just trying to like i get that you just you needed a break because you're mentally overloaded i also feel um there's an insecurity there again there's your, your self your um confidence is low your, your self-esteem is low you know you feel neglected by a person but there's a need for you to pull yourself together, learn from these situations, and um, and recover from it, okay? The advice that I have for you is to say, okay, yes, you needed a break. But it's time for you to recognize that these insecurities are exaggerated, okay? Only because your person is, you're not going to lose your person, all right, to this person, this, this, this ex, And I get that you, your thing is your person, your person's ex is very overbearing. And then it's causing your, you, you know, disharmony in your connection. I get that. But um, there's a need for you to regroup and just come out of this energy, pull yourself together. The advice that I have for you, Sagittarius, is pull yourself together. Okay? I recognize how you're feeling. Pull yourself together. Return back home to your person and work this out. Your person wants to have a heart to heart conversation with you, Sagittarius. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. Your person wants to work this out. You just, you know, I feel like you were just like, you had a meltdown. You're like, I'm tired of this bullshit. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the, the highest energy of, of all. This love is safe. Okay? So it's safe. Ooh. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. The divine is working on you guys. So come together. It's safe for you to continue loving each other and just don't allow this person from the past to ruin what you guys worked so hard to build. Okay? People make mistakes. But this person um, emotionally manipulated your, your person. They were emotionally manipulated. They thought they were doing the right thing. And they should have came to you about it. And I feel like they're sorry. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Please understand that your person doesn't even love the person from the, that ex, okay? Your person, that ex is in love still with your person, okay? But your person doesn't want them. It's like they're in denial. So Spirit wants you to know that no matter how much this ex wants your person, your person wants you and doesn't want that person. It's one-sided, okay? It's unrequited love. Your person has no love for this person. They don't want them. It's like it's over, and Spirit wants you to know that. Show me the messages for Sash, please. Show me one more message for Sash. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so you're with your friend right now, Sagittarius, or you, you know, someone that's helping you through this and telling you, you know, let them. They're probably telling you, you know, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go back home. You have to face this. You can't put this off any longer. Let them help you with that. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pull some love oracle, lovers oracle messages, and I'm gonna close out this reading for you, Sag.
try to avoid making emotionally impulsive decisions when it comes to the challenges in this relationship. I know it's hard because love is, is not logical. It is emotional, but you're going to have to sit with it, you know? Sit with your feelings before you act on them moving forward. That's advice that I need to tell you that was downloaded <laughs> into my head just now, okay? Sit with it. Because I'm getting irrational. I'm hearing that it's irrational. A lot of your stuff is driven by insecurities because of this person from the past. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh, this person, your person wants you to know that they love you and they're thinking about you at this very moment. It, this is such a deep, sincere love. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay, so be very clear and concise. Sit with your feelings before you make decisions. I was just saying that. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the right to say no or to walk away at any time. So when you're in your logical feelings, you know right from wrong, and you don't have to take anything. That's not what I'm saying. Just accept everything. No, but just don't make, don't try not to have an emotional response to everything. Okay. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Create rooms for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay? Thoughts become things. You want positive outcomes, you have to think positive. All right? Reinforce that um, self-love in yourself. Start with that. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you, Sagittarius, for this January 2023 love reading. If it resonated, please let me know by liking, sharing, commenting, or subscribing. I wish you nothing but healing, love, and light on this journey. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.